Hi, this is uh, Jay Rodman, and I wanted to record a little bit of um, how to play Rita from Moscow. Specifically, uh, how to get out of the space hangar, which is the very first part of the game and the most difficult to figure out without reading the manual. Um, so, and the rest of it is much more accessible, um, much easier to figure out without reading a manual, without whatever. Uh, so there's kind of a stumbling block to this, I think, excellent game from the early Commodore 64 gaming time frame. And I'm just going to walk through it. So I'm going to play on beginner because it's the easiest, and I recommend that anyone who's trying to figure out how to play this game play on beginner at least until you figure out how to get out of the space station. Um, the game starts out with a missile launch. In order to get into the space station, you have to press the space bar. So there's three things we're going to be using in addition to movement. Um, there's the space bar, there's the fire button on the joystick, and there's um, F7, which on the Commodore 64 keyboard was like a key in the lower right, kind of easy to reach. Feels a little weird now. Anyway, okay, so I'm gonna crash so I can start talk about uh, what you do in the without, from the beginning. So your man walks out to the plane. You have no control over this part. If you press space, you leave, this, leave the space station, don't do that. Um, immediately, it starts us off with the plane moving towards a wall. And if we let it, like if we don't do anything, it's gonna go over to that wall and crash. So by turning left and right, we can turn the plane around. And by pressing forward, we can apply forward thrust. We don't have to hold forward, we're just changing the vector. On beginner, this is easy enough. You just turn around, a little thrust, moving pretty slowly, everything's under control. You know, the operative word, especially on beginner, is don't you don't want to move too fast. The next thing you want to do is open the space hangar doors. The game does I'm pressing F7 now, which is the button to open the doors. It doesn't work. It doesn't work until we achieve liftoff. Our current height, our altitude is zero. We need to get above zero. Maybe we need to get to three, I don't remember. There's a vertical thruster that we can activate by pressing space. Or sorry, by pressing, um, no press space, by pressing fire. So I'm gonna press the little bit of vertical thrust and you can see my altitude goes up. I have let go of the button and I'm still going up because there's um, inertia and gravity here. If I let, if I go up a ways, and then let go of the button, well first of all, if I go up a really long way, I think we can hit the ceiling. No, I guess we can't, I made that up. Uh, but if we fall to, if we fall rapidly, and come down to zero altitude, we crash on the floor. So, the goal, uh, the, the goal is to keep the movement kind of stable in all directions, off the ground, and then open the hangar doors. So this very simple technique I have always used is turn around, get really slow, lift up the ground a bit with the button, keep tapping it so you don't hit the ground, and then press F7, and away you go. Now it's possible to hit the, um, hit, I'm pressing spacebar to get back into the station. It's possible to hit the ceiling on the way up the door too. <clears throat> I don't remember what the maximum height is, but... At least on beginner, the easiest thing to do is just get a tiny bit of height, enough to open the door, and then and then zoom on out. It's okay to come back down to zero, at least on beginner, um, if you're not moving too quickly. So if you just lift off the ground a little bit, you won't crash. I think on the higher level difficulties, you can't come back down to altitude zero, and more importantly, the door stays open for a much smaller time. So I guess the next thing to do is to figure out if I can end the game? Probably not. Oh well, anyway, um, at higher difficulty levels, the, your goal ends up being lift into the air, start moving towards the door, open the door kind of at the last second because it just closes again on you and kills you. And that's the end of this little mini tutorial.